Hey guys, Lee Jay here. This is episode number 28. I can't believe this is almost the end of the season. Just decided that every 30 days I'm gonna call it a season because it is to me. Seems like it is a fast, you know, a fast month though with all this vlogging. But you know what? I am enjoying it. Today is my end of day as well as beginning of the day vlog because I didn't vlog the whole day. I felt so tired after the weekend uh, for some reason. But a big factor of it is this cold front that's uh, coming in every night so thank god we didn't buy air conditioning because that would be useless at night the weather changes and one thing with me is that when the weather change I get runny nose and I don't know if the kids are the same too because everybody seems to have a runny nose and my body is aching I think from the weekend and from the previous weeks because it's been uh, quite of a hectic week for us you know camping and uh, people coming over and all these scheduled agendas this that we need to do so but today was uh was an achy day so just you know resting and trying to recover strength again i'm gonna vlog this because that's all i can do at this point is to cook my favorite meal when i'm not in the mood this meal is called mi goreng right here this is an indonesian noodle and this is very similar to pancit canton of filipinos um, but this, my friend, is the bomb. First of all, it has a lot of servings and a lot of calories as well. So I think this is coming in at 390 calories a pack. So I'm gonna finish about three packs of those, right? I'm already boiling the water, right? So the way you cook it is you boil the water, put this in right here. We've got some boiled eggs too, because in the morning when Mel goes to work, she just pops one of those eggs in and she's good to go. That's her breakfast. I think I'm gonna do that tonight too, okay? So you have this little packet right here. It says bawang goreng. So you have like a hoisin sauce, and then this is a hot sauce. Tastes like sriracha. And then uh, oil. So this is the noodles. It's slightly larger quantity than a typical noodle thing of this version so and this is dry noodles so you have to you have to drain this afterwards so that's it i'm gonna eat three of those i didn't eat the whole day today because i wasn't feeling well that and that should be my dinner just to give you a perspective of how late it is it is already 9 25 at night and i just woke up because as soon as my wife was home at uh, 5 30 i went to nap right away because i can't i can't handle it anymore i feel so really lethargic i think part of it too is the unhealthy version of the food that we were eating for the past few days uh, lots of fried food. We just had like a huge Jollibee meal with fried chicken and then we went to Seafood City which is like again fried another fried food. Not that I'm regretful about it um, but more of this I'm feeling the repercussions of doing those <laughs> glutinous acts <laughs> which is uh, hard to admit but it's true you know like we don't do it often though I don't do it often but you know, it's part of celebration of life, just part of how awesome are the things that we have around us. But uh, as soon as you overstep and overdo things, then that's where the awesome goes. It sucks, right? So, but yeah, just waiting for the noodles to boil up. And then I'm going to show you how I mix this thing because there's a certain way of cooking the noodles. If you don't cook it a certain way, it tastes bad, uh, in my opinion, anyways. So, okay. guys the noodles are almost ready and I'm gonna turn that off once the boiling gets rolling as I say it it is done so this is like an al dente noodles I don't like it too soft so I try to cook it al dente the best part is when you still have a little bit of uncooked noodles but more of a hard noodles in there that's good and then we need a bowl Boom. Bawang goreng actually translates to fried garlic. Boom, put that in. I know this is so unhealthy, but whatever. It's awesome still, because obviously this is an awesome food. I love Indonesians for having to get this product 
here in Canada. Indonesian culture and Filipino culture are very the same in terms of what food we eat. Only big difference is that they're mostly Muslims and although we have a big portion of Philippines to be Muslims as well, but Indonesians I think has a lot of Muslim populations. On the contrary, Philippines has more Catholics and Christian but we are one human race in Southeast Asia there's lots of cultural overlaps example food so there you go put that in you mix it and then what we do is we pair it up with egg as your protein that off and we are good to go. So you guys notice there's um, quite a bit of silence in this house because it is already 10 o'clock at night. Oh my gosh, you guys can see how I peel a boiled egg and I'm not very good at it. I suck at it and I know that, but who cares? Melissa always um, makes fun of me peeling boiled eggs because they have imperfections in it, like this ones. Now, we just need to give the boiled egg a little rinse. I guess that's what I do. I rinse everything. Drop it in there. Usually I cut it up, but I don't care. And we're gonna have to taste it now. Let's do this. You hey guys, I'm gonna try it up. First bite. Good thing about it is that it's super delicious and I'm so hungry right now. So let's dig in. It's super perfect, you guys. This is my perfect comfort food. Bit of spicy. Bit of sweetness from the hoisin. Salty, as they should be. You can really taste the fried garlic in it. It just lingers in your mouth afterwards. Just get a little bit of that egg. Reminds me of, when I eat the egg with it, reminds me of palabok, Filipino noodles. Palabo, especially with the boiled egg. But usually they cook this with fried eggs. Since we've already been eating fried food for the last four days, I think I'm gonna skip that one. And this one is really, really good, guys. Man, I'm gonna finish, I'm literally gonna finish this all. Mm -hmm. I just had portion where you didn't, um, it wasn't mixed, so it's like a clump of seasoning salt and seasoning powder that was really really tasty and salty at the same time the trick is you gotta find a portion of the noodle where it's not covered properly and you immediately chug it so you got a little bit of those a little bit of the salty ones you can hear the kids they're not in the bed yet they're gonna be in so much trouble oh my gosh it's so good here comes the other one <laughs> this is the spicy one okay get me the not Okay, I'm gonna grab you, but why aren't you sleep yet? Okay, I'm gonna cook another one for this kid, so see you later. Hey guys, so turns out the kids really want me um, ring right now. So I'm cooking a second batch. This time there's two noodles in there. And when I'm cooking it for the kids, I will slightly overcook it so that they can digest it tonight properly. And then I'm only putting in one seasoning salt for two of these so that they won't uh, get kidney disease. You know, salt is bad and I know that. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna feed them at already 9.53. Stubborn kids. Okay guys, so kids me goreng is done. How do you like it? Do you yummy, like yummy, it? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy? My turn. And let's see how Alice is doing. How are you doing there? Wow, you got your juice, your me goreng, late snack. <laughs> Like it? Make sure you finish that, okay? Grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, guys, so that's the end of the day. Um, it's, uh, <gasps> you finished it right away? It's not even a minute, dude. Wow, look at that. That's Alburn. He More. loves me More. More? Mm -hmm. Good thing I saved some. Right there. So that is Alburn's second bowl. Punching on it. So. Alright guys, that's the end of the day. This is the end of this episode as well. We are nearing the end of the season. Seems like the end is near. <laughs> My way, but uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. If you are new to this channel, it's just me blabbing around how awesome life is around me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for supporting this channel. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.